This is IVTV News for Monday, June 30th, 2008. Our first topic is that we have a new Welfare Olympics game called Chance of Showers. And she demonstrated just how to play shortly after her interview last week. She washed her hair under an overflowing eaves trough and then used body wash to finish the job. Then she ran down the street like a maniac for her fight. Congrats, Jen, and thanks for the contributions to the cause. I like to see other people do this feat as well. Here's a clip. Nice! This is how we get clean down on Winter Avenue. We gotta wait till it rains really heavy, and then we go outside and we're like, yes, let's get clean! And then we rinse. Our second story is about Mike Leger's shoot at the Royal Canadian Legion on Wyandotte on June 29th. President were both of Mike's clients, Fred and Clayton Moore. And it was a fun night. Here are some clips from the night's events. shows should be starting this week with Mike and Mike Q&A Day, Rhonda's Kitchen, and EKPU, Essex Kent Paranormal Unit, which is being taped live on location tonight and others. Rhonda's Kitchen will begin on Wednesday, July 9th, and she will show you her style of making potato salad. The Paranormal Unit will be investigating a local phenomena tonight in the Windsor area on our live on location. And now a word from our fake sponsors. With our live on location being as big as it is this week, there will be no formal interview. However, there will be footage after this. So we went up to Texas Road, me, Mike, Mike, and Peggy. Everybody grab their equipment. Yeah. When we arrived on Texas Road, we arrived at the cemetery. Hi, I'm Mike Bromley. I'm your host for Monday Night News. Tonight we have a very special location. Tonight's our first episode of the Paranormal. We're here live at Texas Road. It's a great location. Here across from me is the cemetery. Supposedly it's haunted. And up the road from me, which is a dead end, and it's very dark and spooky, as you can tell, is the Iron Bridge, supposedly where two kids were hung back in the 70s. Um, we're going to be going around here, doing the research, and hopefully we catch something on tape or on audio. We're going to analyze it and bring it to you later in the week. From here on in, cut. I brought along with me my digital camera um, and took pictures of several tombstones. This on. I'm going by myself. 
myself. Um, I have never been to a graveyard before. I don't really like going to them. Well, Eric, let's begin our first stage of the paranormal. I hope that light goes out. Oh my gosh. That branching was pitch black, couldn't see nothing. And well, a few of the people in the van were on edge. Okay. Dead end, yeah, I bet you it is. Get it, dead end. Okay, come on. And we, I got scared. Anyways, I don't know about the rest of everybody, but yeah, I ended up jumping. I know, I freaked out already. I kind of cool. Um. I didn't uh, really experience or see anything while I was out there, although I did feel uh, a great peace. Now part of the cemetery, there's some new section, and then there's some really, really old areas of the cemetery. Shit. You got it? Yeah. No, her. No, sorry, I gotta get, uh, let me just do this right now. Okay. Is that marble? It looks like more marble. Can you move the light over a bit? Which way? I brought along with me my digital camera um, and took pictures of several tombstones. Uh, Try not to breathe on it. There you go, see, that's totally clear on my camera. You have to go from the side. Because it's there. Uh, oh, I got just about, I just about had it. I think I moved my light. Okay, there. Um, okay. Mind you, when we first got there, nothing was happening. <clears throat> Anything going on over here? I don't dance, this is it. <laughs> <laughs>